is while I'm sitting at home, staring at the ceiling, just wishing that I had someone to talk to, is knowing that none of you idiots realize how lucky you are. So I was supposed to have a guy come over tonight to play Super Smash Bros. He was supposed to come over at 8. It's already 7.30. He hasn't texted me since like 12 this afternoon. Want to hear the funny thing? He's the one who super liked me on Tinder. So I'll keep this in my drafts until I hear anything remotely interesting and maybe post it. We'll see. I decided to take a nap at like 8. I was like, all right, I might hear from him. It's like 10.30 now. Nothing. Whatever. I just got a call from my mom saying that her friends just stood her up at lunch and that she wants me to come and join her. So, let's go see my mom. What do you do? Are you tasting me? <laughs> but if given the preference and you were building your dream man, would you prefer him to be taller than you or shorter? Probably like my height or a bit shorter. <laughs> Now you're just being disingenuous. I'm not, I'm not. No, my last boyfriend was smaller than me, no joke. I, I like that height. Where's he now? Pardon. Where's he now? Is your girlfriend? So I got stood up tonight, right, by the same asshole in the same week under the same circumstance for the second time. <laughs> Observe the jumpsuit, the boots, the earrings, the face. I'm hot as fuck. Right. He tells me, hey, so my friend hit me up super last minute and I'm going to go ahead and hang out with him rather than hang out with you and our days ahead pre-arranged plans. But I'm actually not going to have the respect to reach out to you and tell you this and cancel on you. I'm going to wait till you get there to text me to clarify that I'm coming to drop the bomb on you that I'm going to be too busy sucking my friend's dick in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nice guy. Listen up, you 22 year old drug addict skinny motherfucker that lives at home with his mom. <laughs> I put on makeup for you. I never put on makeup for anyone or anything, okay? So tonight, tonight I wish upon you butthole burning, butthole ripping, hospitalization, diarrhea. <laughs> no toilet paper will save you tonight. To give context to the daddy gang, maybe you guys are familiar, maybe you're not. Madeline was dating someone that is also in the public eye, is a very famous rapper from the UK. To confirm, you guys are broken up. Yes. How long have you guys been broken up for? Um, a couple months. Who ended the relationship? I made the final call. Let's talk about like the perception online because you saying you ended it is not what people think online. I know, and it, but it's not even like anyone's given any thought to it. It's just like their immediate response is like, I got dumped or like, it's like the girl because the guy has all these like girls after him and crazy followers and crazy money. And it's like, you, it's, it's for some reason what we would expect like culturally in a yeah. weird way. You're so right, it always is like, the guy ended it like i've literally seen comments of being like he must have dumped her like she must be so depressed and it's like you actually ended it but yeah. it's annoying that it has to take you coming on and saying that for then people to believe it stop the cap <laughs> hey excuse me i was wondering can i play you an original song um well i was actually meant to meet up with someone but i got stood up how long have you been waiting for Holy oh, well. I can play you a song before he rocks up. No, I'm just dancing with luck of how she moved out of love. Maybe I'm being too much. She's always down. I'm a way out in California. What can I say? She's got a talent for her. Still wish she'd stay. Guess I'll be waiting for her. I'm standing in line for Mrs. Hollywood. Did you write that yourself? Yeah, that was, that was an original song. Oh my yeah, the song's called Mrs. Hollywood. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm just gonna go get ice cream, to be honest. Do you wanna go get ice cream together? Oh, I'd be so down. You wanna know what one of the worst pains you can experience is? <laughs> Getting hurt by someone you've told and explained your pain to. Getting hurt by someone who knows your past and knows how broken and how vulnerable you are. I was speaking to a litigation attorney. She's probably making 
$250,000 a year. But she's like, yeah, I really want a guy who's going to take me out, pay for my stuff. You make $250,000 a year. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. what? You're probably out earning most of the men who would potentially date you. And you, you still have this expectation that... I mean, uh, everyone wants to be spoiled. You know? Yeah. Like, guys yeah. would love men, if you bought Men can flowers. be spoiled? Yeah. yeah. No, like, they would love, like, yeah. to just get stuff, right? Yeah. They I mean, would love it, but women thing, don't do it. Experience. Yeah, we do. Says the OnlyFans performers who have nothing but simps cash apping, PayPaling them, and buying things off of their Amazon wish list their whole thought life. What modern woman spoils her man? That's as rare as a Bigfoot sighting. These chicks just lie their ass off and on these podcasts just to save face and give the simps that sub to their OnlyFans a hint that they may actually have the capacity to care for someone else. And the Asian thought is so unaware. To the average male experience, or considering what men would want, she's looking around as if she's an alien trying to get cues on how to be human. Like she's trying to get an answer to a hard test. This is the type of shit men have to deal with in the West if they want to date a female that's somewhat attractive. And despite looking good, many end up single for the rest of their lives. Us men aren't asking for them to break the bank. All we want is a nice cooked meal after we come home from work, or maybe a picnic in the park, or maybe a back rub. Something to at least show us that she cares. Top comment says, 41 years old, I've never had a woman spoil me. The only woman most likely to spoil us is our mom when we were kids, and a lot of guys don't even get that. Another comment. Knew a woman making over 200k and she wants a man to be the provider. Mid 50s now, no husband, but wants one. She wants to save her money. Good luck. Yeah, these boss lady CEOs price themselves out of the dating market like the podcaster said about the lawyer. This is why women going to work was one of the worst things that ever happened to them. Because their career success is their downfall. A chick comments, so maybe that man needs to admit she's out of his league and let her date a guy that can spoil her. And someone responded, that's the problem, is less than 1% of the whole population makes that much, so there are no more guys for her, so she will stay alone. These bird brains act like there's a high value man on every street corner, especially the ones that they'd be interested in, just hoping to date them. Didn't this chick listen to what the guy said in the video? He said the overpriced lawyer was single. If she could find a man to spoil her, she wouldn't be complaining about how hard it is to find a man who will do so. I am going on a little first date tonight, so I figured I'd film a little get ready with me. Going out with a guy that I actually went to the same college as, we just never crossed paths while we were there. We're gonna get Mexican food and then go see a little movie and then maybe get ice cream. Just using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's literally my favorite. My foundation's a little bit cool and pink to go with my tan so I'm just gonna warm it up with a little cream bronzer but no me and this guy matched on Bumble and I originally forgot to message him back but he extended our match by like two days and I was like okay maybe I will message him now I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer I saw a thing where somebody mixed cream blush in with their concealer and I really liked how it looked so I'm gonna try that I'm sad Becca went on to business because I loved their liquid blush but here goes nothing. I like how it looks, but I wish it was a little more pink. So I think once I set it, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of blush over the powder and just see how it goes. I just add more blush. I really like how it looks. I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. It's my go-to, and I have a mini that I'm trying to get through. That seems to be the theme of my makeup lately is using up what I have so I can start a new one. I have until the end of this Gossip Girl episode to get ready, so let's see if I can do it. I don't know what to do for my eyes, so I think I'm just gonna mix like two little shimmers. Ooh, yeah, I like this a lot. Wet and Wild is like all on my face right now. Hair is done. Oh, my bangs actually look good today. Almost. Uh, I hope. I have no clue what I'm going to wear yet, so let's go pick something out. Just got to pack my purse and then I'll be ready to go. Kind of nervous. Here's my outfit featuring my old Christmas tree. Some leggings and a little shirt and a vest and this little 
Louis purse, nothing too fancy. Trying to keep it cool, casual, and breezy like I don't care, but I do. My date never showed up. He didn't answer my texts, had his phone on do not disturb. So I'm not doing anything tonight. Damn, she put on a whole mask. Makeup is the feminist and modern woman war paint. In the video, she typed how men aren't shit. Just because Chad or Tyrone stood her up doesn't mean all men are responsible for their actions. I don't think she has thought this out. That's not going to make her more attractive to men. And I'm not surprised men don't want to deal with women on social media. Think modern women but the entitlement times 10 because they think, just because they have a following of other used up women, they're now a celebrity who should get celebrity benefits. That plus a Karen times 10 because they put your whole relationship or you on blast to the internet if things aren't kosher. Let's read the comments. Decent looking chick comments, why do they do that? It's happened to me multiple times. Because she's probably only trying to date the top 10% men, and so she's a backup plan for a Wednesday night. And so if the hotter chick pulls through, even better for the man that stood her up. Meanwhile, an average guy or slightly above average guy would have treated her right. But that's before MGTOW and today it's too late for that. These are the same women that would ghost these great guys for a chance to be ghosted by Chad and Tyrone. And then obviously, a ton of chicks gassed her up. Okay, you deserve the best queen. I'm sorry, he didn't show. Side note, you are so pretty and deserve way better. That man boy totally missed out. You looked so beautiful and I can tell you have an amazing personality. He took a huge L. I hate to break this to her followers, but if she was hot enough or her value was high enough, the man would have goddamn showed up. But she isn't 21 anymore. You know, back when she was good looking enough to play games with other men's feelings, and it doesn't look like she's doing anything to increase her sexual value, like if she decided to go to the gym and get booty gains, and do a bunch of squats and get fit. There are a lot of men who can't get enough of that workout ass. But that's hard work, dedication, and she'd have to stop drinking and eating out often. She'd actually have to sacrifice some comfort and vices to be more appealing. And that's accountability, which is kryptonite to these females. Another female comments, Matched with a guy on Tinder. We made plans and the day of, I went to message him and he had unmatched me. I'm so over it. Yeah, how do we know she didn't demand a steak dinner on the first date or refuse to go Dutch on drinks? These modern women still want the benefits of chivalry without earning them. That is, stay chaste, feminine, and polite. I embarrassed myself in a bar. A cute guy told me he was a paleontologist, and I have been practicing my dinosaur noises for a very special three-year-old, specifically my velociraptor noise. And I'm like, oh my god, this is my moment to impress this man. He's a paleontologist. Of course he's gonna appreciate all of the research and practice that went into this velociraptor call. So I make the velociraptor noise, and he just looks at me, and he leaves. He doesn't even say anything. Do we think that he was actually a paleontologist or do you think that he's a liar and he's just saying that? Or is he a paleontologist and he was just so intimidated by the accuracy of my velociraptor noise that he was like, I can't even handle this woman. She's better than me at my own profession. And yes, those are the only two options I'm gonna put out there. I can't even think of a possible third option. Ah, oh, the sweet sting of rejection. Even the nerds are ditching these feminists. I'm going to say making animal noises isn't exactly a mating call. He might have thought she was possessed by a demon or on the spectrum. And I don't think he was making it up, because a paleontologist isn't a six-figure career. It's not like a banker or doctor that gets gold diggers pants wet. Most paleontologists are unemployed or not making a lot of money. They, like many scientists, have to be professional panhandlers to make a living, like find government grants to fund their fossil hunting expeditions. Anyways, long story short, most ethots and IG models don't know what a paleontologist is and wouldn't care. The main issue to her is that she can't believe a guy rejected her, so of course she thinks he must be lying or there's something wrong with him. After all, the other men who decided not to date her must be lying as well. It's not like she's the common denominator to being single. A commenter noted, I'd say that's quirky behavior and he's probably not into it. No dig at you whatsoever, just have to find someone who appreciates it. Yeah, what I thought. How do we know she wasn't loud and making a scene with the animal call? 
These chicks love attention, so any attention, no matter how negative it is, is good attention to them. A man comments, you came off as a nut job. She and many feminists are single for a reason. Just remember that. Even the hottest women have someone who's tired of banging them. I want to tell y'all about the date that I went on tonight. Um, we were going to meet at 5 o'clock right after I got off work because I could only stay for a little while. I had to get home early because I've got a lot of school work I have to do. Um, so he knew this. And we talked this morning. He said, good morning. I told me to have a good day. He was looking forward to tonight. I said, so am I. Everything was fine. I get to the restaurant the time that we're supposed to get there. 20 minutes goes by. He's not there. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and order an appetizer. He's running a little late. I don't even like when people run late, but I'm okay. I'm trying to relax a little bit and not be so uptight about certain things. But I do like punctuality. Um, 40 minutes goes by, and he sends me a text. And he said, hey, where are you? I'm at the restaurant. Where are you? I said, are you okay? Because I didn't want to be insensitive in case something happened. He said, yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't hear from me this afternoon, so I thought you were probably going to stand me up. He didn't hear from me this afternoon because I was working. I have a job. I had to work. No one heard from me this afternoon. I was working. And he says, but I'll tell you what, if you can give me about 20 or 25 minutes, I'll come up that way. <laughs> well, he already knew I had to leave by a certain time. I, I couldn't wait on him to be there. So I, I didn't even respond back. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have said, no, don't waste your time. But I didn't. I didn't. And as I was leaving and getting in my car, I saw him getting out of his car, going into the restaurant. Did I go up to him and say, hey, hey? No, I didn't. Can he contact me now? No, he can't. I'm telling you, I'm not playing games. None whatsoever. There's no um, strike twos. It's strike one. Out of there. As if this double or triple wall has all the time in the world. She's a couple of years from qualifying to be a senior citizen, and you wonder why these modern women die alone. What the heck is more important than finding someone who'd actually consider to date her? This guy seemed reasonable and was willing to flex his schedule to meet this grandma. Yet, she acted like she was speeding off to another date. So it's her fault for not confirming at work the time he should show up. Otherwise, like he said, not hearing from her for the rest of the day sounded like she ghosted him. I would think I got ghosted. Let's see the comments. Top comment says, Doesn't sound like he was playing games. Sounds like he has also been burnt. These modern women who no one is picking will find any reason to disqualify a man because their standards are delusionally high. Post wall cheered. Yes! His loss and no excuses, he should have showed up. You're a good, strong woman and, and great example. And responded to her comment, who knows her worth? You can't make this shit up. It's not like she texted him an hour before the date just to reassure him that she's intending to go on the date. He's got a busy life too. Gas is expensive, and this is another reason why single women stay single. Because they're cheered on social media for being brash, egotistical, and acting out. Another post wall comments, so proud of you for holding your boundaries. You are too valuable to be devalued. She's single for a reason. That is, someone devalued her supposed value. Tell me you're getting set up without telling me you're getting set up. I'll go first. It's been 30 minutes and I still haven't heard from her. In case you weren't clear on what happened, in the description she wrote, I waited 45 minutes. Never in my life have I ever been stood up. Even other women are getting tired of modern women. The LGBTQ tarred crowd, which is hand in hand with the feminists, will blindly support feminists and their ideals until they actually have to date one. Let's read the comments. Top comment said, the universe just protected you. It just hurt. See, men are even willing to simp for a woman that will never date any man. He doesn't know her or what she did before the actual date. He doesn't know if she's actually fat with a regular face. She might have even made it up for clout, just for likes and cash app donations. It wouldn't be the first time. Damn, even chicks in the comments are getting stood up. Someone said, I just sent this to the guy I was supposed to meet up with two and a half hours ago. That's funny. Feminists are taking L's everywhere. Another comment, 
He kept postponing the time, then said he got caught up in getting tattoos three hours after we were supposed to go out. This makes my day. King, you dropped your crown. Another female posting an L. I once waited an hour thinking if I leave, he'll show up, so I kept waiting. Damn, they're so desperate that they'll wait an hour without any communication from the man. Just goes to show, modern women respond positively to being treated badly. They have more patience for the guy who stands them up than the perfect boyfriend who does everything right. There's another video of this chick that will give us a better idea on why she got stood up. For those of you having a hard time reading the text, it says, Aren't you the girl who got dumped at a wedding by your girlfriend who brought you as her plus one? And she wrote in the video description claiming, Most embarrassing day of her life. To recap, someone that knew her, as in dated her for a while, and invited her to an intimate event, a wedding, dumped her like she's a turd in the toilet. I knew this chick wasn't telling the whole truth. So, the next time you feel sorry for a female getting stood up, rejected, or dumped, just know there's a good reason why it happened to her. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.